York war hero John Henry Coates has finally been laid to rest 70 years after his plane was shot down in Italy. As we reported last week, the Second World War Spitfire pilot was killed when his aircraft crashed near the town of Cavarzira in March 1945. The wreckage remained undiscovered until 2017 and a subsequent excavation revealed human remains along with in RAF pilot's wings and a warrant officer rank insignia. Will Coates seen standing on the wing of the Spitfire? Photograph from Anya Air Finders on Facebook Research by the Ministry of Defense's Joint Casualty and Compassionate Center found the only pilot of that rank missing over land was Warrant Officer John Henry Coates, known as Harry. Forensic testing on the remains were compared to a DNA profile from a member of Harry's family, while the remnants of the plane's serial number at PT-410 were found to match his. Just 24 years old the coffin was carried by personnel from RAF Halton in Buckinghamshire on Wednesday, the 27th of March. The pilot was buried with full military honors at the Commonwealth War Graves Commission Padua War Cemetery, Italy, following a church service in the Cathedral of San Mauro in Cavarzier. Born in York, Harry had been working as a railway draughtsman before enlisting into the RAF in March 1941. He was just 24 years old when he died and had been on a mission targeting barges in the canal just north of Cavarzier in a bid to destroy the enemy's supply chain. According to historical records, his aircraft was hit by flak and exploded, with the wreckage strewn over a large area. A great honor, Harry Coates, and the area where his body was found. Photographs, Romania Airfinders on Facebook, YouTube among the attendees at the funeral were Harry's niece Sheila Coates, from Stamford in Lincolnshire, while the coffin was carried by personnel from RAF Halton in Buckinghamshire. Ms. Coates said, It is a great honor for us to finally put Harry to rest in the Padua War Cemetery today. Unfortunately, the find was too late for his youngest brother, my father, Frank who died in 2015 and his sister Betty, who died in 2016. But his burial has been attended by many of his relatives, from great-great-nephews and nieces through to immediate nephews and nieces.